Black science fiction or black speculative fiction is an umbrella term that covers a variety of activities within the science fiction, fantasy, and horror genres where people of the African diaspora take part or are depicted. Some of its defining characteristics include a critique of the social structures leading to black oppression paired with an investment in social change. Black science fiction is fed by technology but not led by it. This means that black science fiction often explores with human engagement with technology instead of technology as an innate good. In the late 1990s, a number of cultural critics began to use the term Afrofuturism to depict a cultural and literary movement of thinkers and artists of the African diaspora who were using science, technology, and science fiction as means of exploring the black experience. However, as Nisi Shawl describes in her Tor.com series on the history of black science fiction, black science fiction is a wide-ranging genre with a history reaching as far back as the 19th century. Also, because of the interconnections between black culture and black science fiction, "...readers and critics need first to be familiar with the traditions of African American literature and culture," in order to correctly interpret the nuances of the texts. Indeed, John Pfeiffer has argued that there have always been elements of speculative fiction in black literature. History According to Jess Nevins, "...a fully accurate history of black speculative fiction would be impossible to write." Because very little is known of the dime novel authors of the 19th century and the pulp magazine writers of the early 20th century, including notably their ethnicity. Although the concept of science fiction as a discrete genre had already emerged in the late 19th century, its early black exponents do not appear to have been influenced by each other. Moreover, because of the genre of science fiction often prioritizing publication via a set of canonical magazines, it can be difficult to create a timeline for black science fiction because its authors may not have been included in those publications. Topic: 19th century. In 1859, Martin Delaney (1812–1885), one of the foremost U.S. black political leaders and known as the father of black nationalism, began publishing Blake or the Huts of America as a serial in the Anglo-American magazine. Delaney, also internationally known as a scientist and explorer, positioned Blake as an engagement with the racial sciences of the time. The Anglo-American magazine often also published articles on science, particularly the science of race. The subject of Delaney's serial novel is a successful slave revolt in the southern states and the founding of a new black country in Cuba. Samuel R. Delaney described it as, "...about as close to an SF-style alternate history novel as you can get." The serialization ended prematurely, but the entire novel was eventually published in serial form in the weekly Anglo-African in weekly installments from November 1861 to May 1862. The Anglo-African was considered the premier publication featuring the work of black scientists and theorists. Blake's inclusion in its serials highlights its connection to a larger political context focused on black citizenship in the antebellum South. Further, while it incorporates elements of the fugitive slave narrative, Blake's narrator is also a scientist, whose focus on data collection and research stand in repudiation of the racial science of the day. In fact, this reflects one of Delaney's major themes, that Africa and its contributions to science and math were foundational to the Western world. In terms of genre, Blake represents an early example of black utopian speculative fiction. In Passing and the African American Novel, Maria Julia Fabi writes, "...less convinced of the laboratory potential of technological progress than their white counterparts, African American utopian writers focused on the process of individual and collective ideological change rather than on the accomplished perfection of utopia itself." It is also a proto-Afrofuturist novel. Lisa Yashik writes, 
I N A move that would set the tone for nearly a century of Afrofuturist SF to come. Delaney explores the ambivalence and precarity of black cultural survival while simultaneously arguing for black technological prowess. Further, because of Delaney's interest in black separatism and the establishment of a black state, Blake is an extension and exploration of the themes and ideas he explored in his 1852 publication of The Condition, Elevation, Emigration, and Destiny of the Colored People of the United States. Blake was never published as a complete, standalone novel in the 19th century. Charles W. Chestnut (1858–1932) was a noted writer of folkloric hoodoo stories. His collection, The Conjure Woman (1899), is the first known speculative fiction collection written by a person of color. The 1892 novel Iola Leroy by Frances Harper (1825–1911), the leading black woman poet of the 19th century, has been described as the first piece of African American utopian fiction on account of its vision of a peaceful and equal polity of men and women, whites and former slaves. In contrast, the 1899 novel Imperium in Imperio by Sutton Griggs (1872–1933) ends with preparations for a violent takeover of Texas for African Americans by a secret black government. Imperium in Imperio is credited with being the first political novel written by an African American. Griggs self-published his novel and sold it door to door. Early 20th century Of One Blood by the prolific writer and editor Pauline Hopkins describing the discovery of a hidden civilization with advanced technology in Ethiopia, is the first, "'Lost Race' novel by an African-American author. However, unlike other entrants into this genre, Hopkins' "'Lost Race' Offers a homecoming to her black protagonists. Light Ahead for the Negro, a 1904 novel by Edward A. Johnson, 1860-1944, is an early attempt at imagining a realistic post-racist American society, describing how by 2006 Negroes are encouraged to read books and given land by the government. W. E. B. Du Bois's 1920 story The Comet, in which only a black man and a white woman survive an apocalyptic event, is the first work of post-apocalyptic fiction in which African Americans appear as subjects. George Schuyler (1895–1977), the noted conservative U.S. critic and writer, published several works of speculative fiction in the 1930s, using the framework of pulp fiction to explore racial conflict. Published in the Pittsburgh Courier, Schuyler's serials lampoon the talented tenth, criticize colorism, and explore double consciousness. By the 1920s, speculative fiction was also published by African writers. In South Africa, the popular 1920 novel Shaka, written in Sutu by Thomas Mofolo (1876–1948), presented a magical realist account of the life of the Zulu king Shaka. N. N. Anger Con, a 1932 novel by Jean Louis N. J. Ember Medu, covers the disastrous first contact of white colonialists with the Bulu people. It became so popular in Medu's native Cameroon that it has become the basis of local folklore. 1934 saw the publication of two Nigerian novels describing the deeds of rulers in a mythic version of the country's past, Gandoki by Mohamedou Bello Kagara and Ruwan Bagaha by Abu Bakar Imam. In 1941, the Togolese novelist Felix Kouchoro wrote the magical realist romance novel Amour de Fetishers, the story Yane Ababa in the 1945 collection Araman by Makonan Endorkakor, an Ethiopian writer writing in Amharic, is notable as an early work of Muslim science fiction, describing the adventures of a teenage Amhara girl sold into slavery. Topic: 1950 present. 
Writers such as Samuel R. Delaney, Octavia E. Butler, Nalo Hopkinson, Minister Faust, Nnedi Okorafor, N. K. Jemison, Tananarive Jew, Andrea Hairston, Jeffrey Thorne, Nisi Shawl, and Carl Hancock Rux are among the writers who continue to work in black science fiction and speculative fiction. Samuel R. Delaney is a noted science fiction writer, literary critic, and memoirist whose science fiction explores and experiments with mythology, race, memory, sexuality, perception and gender. In 2013, the Science Fiction and Fantasy Writers of America named Delaney its 30th SFWA Grand Master. Delaney addressed the challenges facing African Americans in the science fiction community in an essay titled Racism and Science Fiction. Since I began to publish in 1962, I have often been asked, by people of all colors, what my experience of racial prejudice in the science fiction field has been. Has it been non existent? By no means, it was definitely there. A child of the political protests of the 50s and 60s, I've frequently said to people who asked that question, as long as there are only one, two, or a handful of us, however, I presume in a field such as science fiction, where many of its writers come out of the liberal Jewish tradition, prejudice will most likely remain a slight force. Until, say, black writers start to number 13, 15, 20% of the total. At that point, where the competition might be perceived as having some economic heft, chances are we will have as much racism and prejudice here as in any other field. We are still a long way away from such statistics, but we are certainly moving closer. Octavia E. Butler was an extremely influential science fiction writer and instructor. In 1995, she became the first science fiction writer to win the MacArthur Fellowship, nicknamed the Genius Grant. In 2007, the Carl Brandon Society established the Octavia E. Butler Memorial Scholarship which provides support to a student of color attending Clarion Writers' Workshop or Clarion West Writers' Workshop. According to the Carl Brandon Society's website, "...it furthers Octavia's legacy by providing the same experience, opportunity that Octavia had to future generations of new writers of color." Nalo Hopkinson is a renowned science fiction and fantasy writer, professor, and editor whose short stories explore class, race, and sexuality using themes from Afro-Caribbean culture, Caribbean folklore, and feminism. Skin Folk, a collection of short stories which won the 2002 World Fantasy Award for Best Story Collection, is known for its influence from Caribbean history and language, with its tradition of written storytelling. The Carl Brandon Society is a group originating in the science fiction community dedicated to addressing the representation of people of color in the fantastical genres such as science fiction, fantasy, and horror. The Society recognizes works by authors of color and featuring characters of color through awards, provides reading lists for educators and librarians, including one for Black History Month and has a wiki specifically for collecting information about people of color working in these genres. The 2017 Black Speculative Fiction Report notes that only 4.3% of published speculative fiction works released in 2017 were written by black authors. Topic Subgenres Carly Tal argues that one of the subgenres of black science fiction is black near future militant fiction, and categorizes Imperium and Black Empire as examples of this subgenre. Topic See also Afrofuturism in film Speculative fiction by writers of color List of black superheroes <laughs>